give thanks and praise, give thanks and praise, give thanks and praise. Step by step, step by step. I don't think there is no one that can tell us how to construct our document and what to place within our documents. Here we go, step by step, step by step. Lawful notice of a legal claim, certificate, A certification. Yeah, that can work. Certification of service for discovery. Come on, come here, actually. Place these documents there. Step by step. Step by step. Step by step. kind of tired. I think I was on this thing a bit all day messing around. Man, I was really messing around all day, but because it's a technological error now. Whenever I create or construct a document, now I'll record it this way. So I have it recorded on both video recording and written record. Yeah, man. We'll make a few adjustments with this document. Like even this theory right here where we said millions of people are subject to this crime every day on multiple levels as it is now commonplace and is carried out by the largest company in this country. This same company is also a public office with the enforcement to execute this crime, which is inclusive but not limited, limited to the office of the police, the office of the judiciary, the office of local government, and the office of central government, federal government. Come on, so we kind of remove the criminal that's a, allegations and I put it in a writing like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. <laughs> step by step. Step by step. We are not here to bring no harm to no one. Surely we are not. Malfeasance, come on, malfeasance or misfeasance and non-misfeasance are also very severe crimes with the period of incarceration of life in prison. These things are no joke. 
moment you take an oath of office or you're appointed as a public servant, listen, carry a lot of responsibility. And no one has ever hold you guys accountable until now. Until now. Yeah, man. Until now. We really, let know people like when we literally I read out the document and thing, but I really feel like go down the night that way. However, let me see what I can do it. Summary. The alleged contravention did not occur. No contravention has occurred because there are no agreements between Linton Dallas the authorized representative and Her Majesty's Parliament and or the government of Jamaica, which can be legally and physically presented as fact in support of the alleged contravention. Traffic order that is alleged to have been contravened in relation to the vehicle or automobile concern in relation to the in relation to the automobile concerned is invalid. The traffic order is illegal because there is no agreement between the parties. It is legally and physically presentable as fact and signed in wet ink. And without the signature in wet ink, a legal document in the form of an agreement then it is not legal or is illegal and therefore not lawful a challenge has been made and has not been effectively rebutted by the court clerk prosecutor mr such and such nor other parties of interest involved, Detective Sergeant, Constable, Constable, Corporal. It is obvious at this point that there is no one at the court clerk pro prosecutor's office. I like what that sounds. It is obvious at this point that there is no one at the prosecuting court clerk's office that is capable of understanding the challenge made by Linton Dallas or capable of responding. Therefore, an arbitrator, arbitrator becomes necessary. Regardless of the legislation or policies of Her Majesty's Parliament and or the government of Jamaica, any commercial activity without con would constitute an act of fraud without a commercial agreement in place beforehand. There can be one outcome to this tribunal. There can only be one outcome to this tribunal, which is acceptable under current legislation. 
Her Majesty's Parliament and or the government of Jamaica will find in favor of Linton Dallas, not in favor of continued transgression against the current legislation. Not in favor of the of the of the continued transgression against the, the current legislation. We have taken a considerable amount of time and energy responding to Her Majesty's Parliament and or the Government of Jamaica when making representation in rep representation and in preparation for this tribunal. When making representation and in preparation for this tribunal, it is not without reason that consideration could be expected. This would also serve to enforce the decision made by the arbitrator in this tribunal. If the arbitrator is truly an independent and honorable individual, then an adequate consideration is in order. Linton Dallas authorized representative also note that although this tribunal is informal, it is also recognized as legally binding regardless of the findings of the arbitrator. We would also like to respond. We would also like a response in writing. response in writing from the arbitrator to relay the outcome of this tribunal conveying the reasons for the arbitrator's decision if it is against Linton Dallas or the trespass upon our property without authority or consent one million U.S. dollars par value per use plus fee schedule cost. For the trademark, copyright, copy claim use without written authorization or consent, 500,000 U.S. dollars penalty per value. Per use. Yeah. No acts of, a, of Her Majesty's Parliament 
or the government of Jamaica applies to Linton Dallas authorized representative, the estate he represents, nor his principal, Linton Ivan O'Neill, executor, absolutely no policy or acts imposed applies to us. Yeah, we are truly lawful. So once it's law, we do no harm then. Always abide by law. Don't bring public policy to us and expect us to bow. It won't happen. We are going to rebel lawfully. We are going to rebel legally. We are going to rebel spiritually. We will rebel intellectually. We will rebel intelligently. Rebel. We shall, without prejudice, i.e., all natural and unalienable rights reserved. In the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court in Traffic Court Division. Traffic Court Division. Yeah, man. Linton O'Neill Dallas. Entity. Or an, on behalf of the true party of interest, general executor and beneficial title holder, Linton Hyphen O'Neill EX executor, by authorized representative, Linton Dallas. Registered bond number, exemption number, case number. Regina and the government of Jamaica, etc. All foreign on behalf of the true parties of interest the men acting in the capacity as court clerk and prosecutor detective sergeant of police number constable of police number constable of police number corporal of police number respond date <laughs> this is a beautiful one respond date superior yeah, man, they're not even just respondent. Go on here from on a boss. Go on here from on a principal. Go on here from the root, the core of who create this mess. Here we are. I am Nestorian King, right here. Here I am. Lawful notice of a legal claim. Certification of service. For discovery. Vicarious or joint liability. Notice the agent is noticed. The principal and notice the principal is noticed. The agent applies. Do not ignore this legal document. Ignore this legal document will have legal consequences for the man or woman acting in the capacity as judge, prosecutor, court clerk, or court officers. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. The authorized representative, Linton Dallas, for and on behalf of general executor and beneficial title holder, Linton O'Neill, when I need to put Ola here. Linton hyphen O'Neill, yes, does now testify, declare, and certify that I have served the foregoing documents by hand, delivered to the office of the man acting in the capacity as court clerk and prosecutor, a Mr. John Doe. At the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court Traffic Division, all documents are date, 
stamped as physical presentable evidence of the fact on the public record located at the Islands Record Office, Jamaica. Documents service for discovery in real case number C, uppercase C, uppercase A, 2019, uppercase P, uppercase R, traffic division. Yeah, we're dealing with travel. 161443-48 are as follows. Writ for the production and the inspection of documents and property. This is when we get them the first set of documents. And actually, it asks for whatever, you know, paperwork them of or exculpatory evidence meaning evidence for them know about the right to travel them should just bring it forward as I had placed a document with the court from October I think the 30th where the court clerk date stamp but he didn't initial it when I went to court the judge was asking hey you know where is your evidence so that's when I know the court clerk was dishonorable. However, I place those documents on the public record and get a certified copy and then replace them upon the court as evidence of fact. So, it's just step by step. And listen, I'm no bar member attorney. I'm not held by any legal standard or courtroom standard or formality. No, man. This is my court. When this document is going to be placed, the, the correct or the appropriate names will be placed on the document. And I will have a United States of America one dollar adhesive stamp cancelled and placed on this document giving it a one try ounce value and placing it within the UPU federal jurisdiction yeah man so it's all step by step but when you local people and state people play around you're not aware that the supreme law of the land is found in the federal constitution, not in your local constitution. To be uniform, it has to go straight across the board. And that's the supreme law of the land, which is common law, irrespective of what's being said in the public arena. Yeah, man. So step by step, step by step, second set of documents, and then when when we, when I pass by the police station, Elliston Road police station, and I saw my car, got to take it from the pound and bring it back to the station, but I don't see my decal with my writing on it. So right there, it's vandalism, malicious destruction of property. Whoever removed my property should replace it. It's a very expensive piece of property. Very expensive piece of property. Number two, rule 201, judicial notice of adjudicated fact. That's when I'm asking, who are you? And asking for the authorization, a delegation of authorization to even try to administer my estate or even my Which hasn't been forthcoming. You know what I mean? And I have that on the public record. 
6962 Yeah man Number 3 is when I asked for the copyright claim And that was November 9th of November And there is the Public record number Right to travel Where I give them a notice on demand all of these, I got through the process by giving them notice, but again, I probably never comprehend what I was doing. Judicial and administrative notice. Yeah, no victim, no crime, malicious prosecution. Because if you're going to say the detective sergeant bring me to court because of some crime. The detective sergeant is not a victim. The detective sergeant has suffered no harm. So it can't be him. It can't be Regina. That's a fictitious entity. So who is the true victim here? I am he. I am that victim. You have caused me harm. You have injured me by carrying me into your court. You've caused me damage and harm. You've trespassed against my property without authority or consent. Who are you people? Who are you people? Where is a delegation of authority? With that wet ink autograph or signature. Where I am giving you permission. I delegate my authority to no one. And I have all of that on the public record. So, step by step. Step by step. It's an interesting situation. You know, the fee schedule is there. Fee schedule has been initiated. Yeah. Both the resident magistrate, Mr. C.M., and the prosecutor, Mr. Mr. PJ, on behalf of Regina and the government of Jamaica, you all agreed on January 25th to this fee schedule being initiated. And you set a date for the 24th of March. So, an invoice will be forthcoming. This is just that public notice of what's coming. Traffic Management Act. Now this is where events become really interesting. Well, we have to go over this all a hundred times when I read this information. Uh, an act can never be law. Yeah man, an act is not law. It can never be law. Anyway, I don't want to drag this thing out. This is just a little, supposed to be a little five, ten minutes preview. Just a preview of my court. Come on, so give thanks. Nom yo ho, Ben Gekyo. Nom yo ho, Ben Gekyo. Nom yo ho, Ben Gekyo. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. To the mystic law of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature. I guide thy thoughts and I part in all ways that are lawful, correct, and positive. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. A walk in the nation. Bold and brave, firm and strong, give thanks and praise. Salute, people. Salute. Sir Anthony, the fisher folks at the Causeway Fishing Village. Yeah, man, our fisher folks across our, our great island, this American island of Jamaica. Zamayaka. 
you guys call it Jamaica. Yes, to my fisher folks. Complete respect with power to my farmers on this island. Yeah, man, especially Manchester, Comfort All area. Yeah, man. Sir All, Iron Eagle. Yeah, man. Salute to the farmers. Yeah, man. Salute to the farmers all across the island. Salute to the Awak people. Even when you don't know yourselves, even when you're not sure who and what you are. But yes, we are that same Awak that they call Arawak, that the French call Iroquois. That's like the flavor and the sound, you know. It's not so, that's my little style, you know. Uh, when I'm saying the Iroquois Confederacy, we were involved. Yeah, this was before. The Europeans or the foreigners came here, but we were involved. Yeah, man. But this is North America. So step by step, people. Step by step. Salute.